it's like to me they trophies. You know what I mean? Like from just hard work and like little little gifts to yourself for the work you didn't put in. You know what I mean? So that's how I look at jewelry, like little trophies. Yo, yo, you already know it's your boy Dave East, and you are watching On the Rocks. There's a Roly, two tone joint, big face, you know what I mean? Sky Dweller. How much is this Roly? 65. 65. The paddock. Protect paddock, however you say it. Philippe. This was the first one I went and got. Once I got my rap money, you know what I'm saying? So this, this one is near and dear to me. That joint, I honor. I actually got a protect from uh, Raffaello in New York City. And this is from my guy, Mazza. Mazza, New York. Uh, I got a plain, a plain Jane. Gold joint, grown man joint, Rolex. But my dad's on me for it. I think he's going, I think my dad trying to take it right now. So I got I to gotta figure that one out. He on my body. How much jewelry have you got for other people? Nice amount. I got my daughter, little tennis set, earrings. I got my mom's a roly. When I first signed my deal, Nas gave me a Sky Dweller. I rocked that for maybe like two years. And then my, my dad got that. Like, he's like a watch. He's more into watches than me. Like, I got into watches once I got, you know what I mean? But he, oh, my dad always had a nice watch all my life. So it was kind of my gift to him. Yeah, I done got jewelry for a few people. Few people want me to get them jewelry, I ain't got it yet, but a few people I ain't got jewelry for. The tennis joint in the Cuba. This one is 300, the big one. And the, the smaller one is a buck 20. First chain I got was a gold Cuban link. This is gold Cuban link. I lost it in LA in the hotel. I thought about it once I got to the airport. I was like, oh my God. These my sweatpants. <laughs> This one got my daughter initials in it, KCB. This has got the gold background. This one is more uh, two-tone. This one matched the watch. It's just like the same. I got this ring when I got my watch. So this ring like is near and dear to me. And I done lost it mad times and it came back to me through the graces of the universe. So I like this ring. Any jewelry that's a good luck charm? Uh, I don't believe in luck. So nah, <laughs> I don't, cause I, don't, I feel like if it's a good luck charm, as soon as I feel like it is a good luck charm, I'ma lose it. Growing up, who were your jewelry wearing idols in hip hop? I loved um, Biggie, that Jesus piece with the Cuban. But I feel like a bunch of them did that in the 90s. Like Mace had that chain, pun. Nas, of course, that QB piece was always insane to me. Raekwon, Ray, Ray, Go, Ghost and Ray, you know what I mean? They had L jewelry. Ghost is definitely top five all time jewelry. Ghost got crazy jewelry. His jewelry is insane. And all them, the, the pieces with the bird and all that. What was it like to portray the iconic Method Man? To me, it was it was one of the, the dopest moments just because I always looked up to Meth. You know what I mean? I always was a fan of his music. So uh, when I got the call and then when I did the audition, I got the role. It was kind of surreal for me because I idolized this dude damn near growing up. It was a challenge, but it was also something that I wanted to kill it. You know what I mean? Just to be able to portray somebody that's been that dope and that influential to our culture for so long. Preparation, I um, I got with Meth. You know, I actually went to Staten Island, chopped it up with him, vibed with him, went over the script with him. And YouTube, YouTube is like the best. I was able to go watch all of their old performances, see how his mannerisms and his cadence and all of that. It helped a lot with just the, me playing his role, you know what I mean? It's another Cuban that matches my bracelet with my daughter initials. This is a First Avenue piece that um, Aviani made for me. This is the block my grandmother had our family on, you know what I mean? We was over there in Harlem. This is kind of like in memory of her and just my neighborhood, First Ave. This right here is a custom piece, my label from the dirt. So I flipped like the NFL logo, you know what I mean? And put the FTD. My guy Mazza did that for me. Two-tone, master bracelet in the watch. It's a lion head, you know, I feel like I, I, I've been in the jungle so long, you know? This whole joint right here was like 30. This Cuban was 40. Oh, I, ain't, I forgot this piece. This is up NYC. My man Slow actually gave this to me. Fat Joe has a store up uptown New York called Up NYC. And this they logo. And I've been a big supporter of his store since he opened, so that was like a gift from them. Do you have any ideas for upcoming pieces that you want to get? 
Yeah, I want to do a bunch of these. This is my label, so I want to like do different sizes, do rings. These might be the ones I could gift people, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like it'd be a lot of times just like relationships people have. I'm still waiting on Fab to give me my family piece, like, you know what I'm saying? Like Certain people that, that just got their own logo or their own thing and you, you cool with them, if you want to support it, you know what I mean? What can you tell us about your new album? Survival is a documentary to my life. Uh, intro to outro, speaking on things I never really spoke on before. You know what I mean? If I could really put my life up until this point in words, that's survival.